So here we are. We're going to work on some SEO today. And this is my latest video upload, so we'll take a look at it. Just trying to take a few seconds to load. But these things will actually help you with getting more viewers to your um, channel, but also help get them to view other videos on your channel. What we'll have to do is just wait for this to load up. But the first thing you want to see is like La Mata Beach 2016 Spain. So that's my title. But is it a good title is a question. So if I copy that, we go over to Google AdWords Keyword Planner. You'll have to um, set up an account. I think I only need a Gmail account. But what you do is you'll insert that phrase in here, La Mata Beach 2016 Spain, and the landing page will be that page with the video on it. So we want to go, where are you? Okay. So ideally, I want to click on that. I've just copied the link of this video within YouTube. You'll see it in a second when I've changed page here. That's where it is on YouTube. You just copy it out the browser, just slightly out off the window at the top. And there's traveling tourism. So we go down to traveling tourism. I'm just clicking on that. You can actually go a bit further, but I'm just trying to do this quickly. So we tell it to go and get us some ideas. And what it's doing is it's searching for keywords that are relevant to those words. And it will come back with some suggestions. So here we are. You've got two ways to do this. The first one is the average month searches. And then the other one is on price. So as you can see here, this may only make... Um, oh, sorry, this one here only makes $1.78, uh, £1.78 but it gets over 15,000 views. So Costa Blanca is quite important. So La Mata Costa Blanca would be a better phrase of word for a bigger um, monthly search. But as you can see here, more money does not mean more hits. So as you can see, there's only 2,000 there, but it's £2.33 using trip to, this trip to Spain. Now, how you write it, you can pick out these keywords and you could do a search like if I clicked on suggested bid here, it should organize them into price, fingers crossed. Roughly. Okay, nowhere near. Okay, fair enough. But the, you get the idea. You're getting your monthly searches here. Let's click on it. There you go. Beach holiday gets 22,500, but obviously that's quite a broad search. And you can play around with this to make it more precise you can see that at the moment it's got broadly related ideas you could actually turn and say well hang on a minute only close to what I'm looking for save that and it should actually update now with things that are closer to what we're actually searching for okay that was a bit too specific it didn't like it so we'll change that <laughs> it's probably because it's only got the 2016 it's it's very specific i suppose if i took the 2016 out the search would probably work anyway you get the idea there's a lot of stuff within google adwords anyway which you need to learn separately we're not going that in depth with it today but what we're going to do is concentrate on the keywords for example costa blanca has another 10 words hidden away here uh, so let's uh, just open it up. If I click that, it should open it up so we can see the other 10. There you go. So you can see the other words in there. 14,800 of them are Costa Blanca related. Costa Blanca La, La Mato is much lower. So the fact is, what I would probably do is Costa Blanca because it'll still get picked up with, well, sorry, I'll put Costa Blanca La Mata but it will still pick up Costa Blanca anyway, because although it's got La Mata, what happens is it just sees that bit in the Google search anyway. Um, so I'm not really fussed on that, but if we go back to our YouTube video, we'll now add Costa Blanca. 
La Mata Beach, 2016, Spain. Now, you can see I've got other keywords here. You see I've picked up Torre Vieja already, 2016, because I know these are things people are looking for. They don't want videos from five years ago. They're looking for the latest ones. And here's a few about Spanish life, because obviously you've got the kids and the wife with me. But if we go into the keyword planner, this is where you still find these words because they're still here. Costa Blanca beaches, there's another nice one. Doesn't get a lot of searches though, so maybe I've got a better, something better. I put Costa Blanca actually, I didn't put Costa Blanca in the keywords, did I, on, the, on my tags? Oh, hang on. So I'll put that down here. See, now I've added that, that's another good one. So that's how you find your keywords and you slot them in not only on there and there but also in the conversation um, so what you want to try and do is put them in here naturally so I'm, I'm I'm going to rewrite this but it's difficult for me to talk and rewrite at the same time but what you want to try and do is um, say insert Costa Blanca into this conversation um, La Mata Beach is obviously already in there. We could put this is our first trip to the beach for 2016. Those sort of things would make this stand out a bit more. And the number of words ideally you want in there is about 150 upwards. What about all those links people are putting back to their website, their Twitter? And I do that as well, but that's predominantly because I'm trying to mix people when I first started the channel with my other websites and things because there's more information the stuff I've already talked about before which are on those sites ideally if your site's huge do that because you've already got the traffic getting generated through the sheer volume of your subscribers but if you're just starting off you're better off without any of that extra stuff in there and concentrating on a good article almost um, because the, these things get read by Google separately. And I know some people actually use their transcription from the text actually said in the video and then convert that into an article. That's fine as well because it's actually relevant, it's correct. But me walking along the beach, obviously there's not going to be a lot of text there, is there? Because I'm just talking about the stuff that I see. Um, but it's, it doesn't translate into a good article. What does is talking about the beach in the sense that we're going to the beach for the day, blah, blah, blah. And ideally, like I said, you want to focus on things that make your title stand out and are most relevant. Make sure you've got at least 150 words and it's an article almost. And the next thing is all your keywords. Ideally, you do not want to, uh, sorry, your tags. You don't want any more than 10. So what I always do, once I've actually prepared it, I quickly count 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I look at that and go, okay, that will have to go. Google seems to like 10. I don't know why, it just does. And this is part of the SEO. Once you've done this bit, just click on the save. You may even put your name in here because I know a lot of people search for my name. So once that's saved, I'll just we'll talk about something else. You've got these annotations, cards, subtitles. Let's go here. We'll go to the subtitle one first. With subtitles and closed captions, what you can do is translate it, well, firstly, transcribe it into English or whatever language you're doing this video in, and then you can get translated into other languages. It's not going to be perfect, but at the same time, the more it's translated, the more chance you've got of meeting um, other subscribers. For example, here I am in Spain. Obviously, I've got the entire Latin world that may be interested in Spain in some form. So from that point of view, it is worth translating this from English into uh, Spanish, into Russian, because we have a lot of Russian uh, tourists, Norwegian, Dutch, French, because we're in a tourist area. It is worth transcribing those. Google have a tool for doing that now, and I think they actually charge people for doing the translations, but 
the main thing is to add new subtitles, you just put it on the side here. So let's just click U English United Kingdom. I'll just wait for that to load. So then it will ask you, are you going to upload it? Um, there is software out there. I can cover that in another video, actually. Uh, to scram, transcribe in auto sync or create a new subtitles or closed caption. So let's click on this one. Transcribe in auto sync. This is where it'll do it automatically. I think this one is the one I normally use. Create new subtitle or closed caption. So what you have is the video is now going to load and you type the text as you hear it up here on the on the right. So as I speak, let's find the word with me actually speaking. So there's the first bit. We are off down to the beach today. And then all you do is click the plus and just check it's in the right space. So go back a little bit. We should better slide this back. And it's as simple as that. Once you've done all the video, you then save it click publish and away you go. That's something a lot of people don't do, but it is quite useful for people that are hard of hearing um, or completely deaf, as well as people wanting to learn another language, find it easier with subtitles. So there's multiple reasons that this is quite a useful tool to use. So we'll leave that where it is at the moment. And what we wanna do is go over to cards because obviously I'm not going to sit and transcribe this entire video while you're sat watching me. So here's cards. What is a card? So we know this video is about Costa Blanca, La Mata Beach. And what you can do is add cards to it. And now a card you can promote a video or a playlist, a, another channel. You could add a poll, a link to an approved website. So like here, it says Spanish life and tourism. If I click on it, oh look, it's my Alicante Spain channel. It's already been added to it. That's a card. And all you do is you just go add card, video playlist, uh, channel. And then all you do is you go up here. This is where my other channel is. When you load the channel for the main channel page, take the link out of the YouTube window at the top and then what you want to do is just drop it straight in here. Then you just put a custom message and that's pretty much it. And once once it's in there, you can see Alicante Spain channel. And then it comes up with all the information relating to that channel so that people are aware they can go and have a look at it and get more information. This is another useful way for getting people to hop onto other videos, other channels, etc., etc. But it doesn't just stop there. We're now going to go over to annotations. So with this, they're actually inserted in the timeline. Uh, so we're going to add an annotation. Um, let's have a speech bubble type or, or a note. Let's have a note. So we'll leave that up there. Put it the shape you want. And we're going to link it to another video. This video here is the Pink Lakes in Torreveja. So we can take that Pink Salt Lakes, Salinas, take that. And then we'll put that as the text. So people can actually click on that and it will take them to that video, which is obviously relevant to what they're watching because they're both in the, the Mata Torreveja area. 
and we want to open another video because we don't actually want them to close this video down. But as you can see on the timeline, it's only at the beginning here. So at a certain point, it will actually switch off. See, the reason I like to try and, let's turn the audio off, try and put it A, near the beginning, but B, let it go away, is they could click on that and it'll open up in another window. They don't actually have to close this one down. But they will continue through the video and hopefully they've already opened it. But you could put it at the end. There could be other stuff relevant as you're going along. For example, maybe I'll, well, I did. I talked about the camper vans here. You could put a link relating to camping in Spain or whatever. Whatever you've got relevant, this is how you interweave your videos with each other so that they're all relevant with what you're doing and make it more of an experience for the person subscribing and watching your videos, making it more interesting. So we're just going to apply those changes. So now that is actually saved near the beginning. And if we go to enhancements, I don't think there's anything we need to do on this. No, I think that's pretty much it. There's, so we'll go over to, you can do some auto fixes and stuff. YouTube can do some weird stuff to your videos now and again though. But as you can see, I've now changed the Costa Blanca. I did the Costa Blanca there, which is the main thing. And obviously I've got these little bits added into the video. So we save that. It's already been done. And we actually want to go and have a look at the video itself. So the video is now playing. As you can see, I've turned the audio off for obvious reasons. There's the bit we added earlier. And up here on the right, if you click on this one, it takes you to the Alicante channel. They're not obtrusive. This is the main thing. These ads are obtrusive, but that's part of getting your revenue. There's nothing I can do about that. But the, the main thing is here, people can actually go, oh, I'll have a quick look at that, and then put it away out of the way. It's not in their face. And the other one is not up there for ages. So you're giving them more of an experience without actually having to do too much that is going to irritate. Then you have all these bits and pieces. If I did the caption and translations, then obviously you should be able to see, where are you, closed captions here. You can actually, once they're set up, it'll actually give you the option to actually watch it with the closed captions on. All these things are very useful for your YouTube channel. Like I said, you interweave it. Also, you want to link in through your websites and stuff, um, which I'll cover in another topic. This is mainly just within YouTube. Thanks for watching.